Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. What an absolute turn of events with the weather. It is so dark outside at 9am that I have to have the lights on because it's very drizzly. Let's just say that. I've got to pick up the camera today because I, well, I've got the dentist this morning which I need to settle for in about half an hour and then I am getting my hair done and it is overdue it's needed i essentially if you can tell i have my grays coming through <laughs> i have my dark roots last time i went to the hairdressers i only had a t-section as well when i was due for a full head so uh i can't even remember why i know i had to get back for something but i didn't want to go without an appointment so i ended up just having a t-section because i've kind of skipped that full head appointment I'm definitely needing a full head today. And for the first time ever, my hairdresser is actually coming to me. So she is due to have her baby next month, I think. So I think she's wanting to go a bit more mobile, which suits me because of my drive to my old hairdresser's is about an hour. So I've said I would much prefer to pay for her to come to me and suits her with her due to have her baby that when in future appointments she comes over, she'll obviously bring her baby with her and that's obviously absolutely fine by me so that's fun all fun and games tom's actually here this morning as well so i think he's going to try and get her to do his hair as well and what else we've got oh i've got some new in bits i might show you later on some kind of like new new in h&m i've got some other branded like core staple capsule pieces that i really wanted to share with you and then i will see where the day takes us for the rest of this afternoon there is actually tom shared um he sent me a tiktok yesterday of this uh place that popped up on his phone that's in manchester or near manchester and i can't believe that i've never even come across it before or never been i don't think i might get there and be like oh i have been there before it's called antique world so it's got lots of um different stalls i believe like an antiques type center so we might pay a little visit to that oh and another news this morning i have <laughs> unintentionally just turned down a coffee date in manchester next week with tom hardy tom hardy <laughs> that sounds way more dramatic than it actually is but uh Lydia and I got an email from Joe Malone saying um next week if we were able to go and meet up and catch up they're revealing a new male ambassador that they've got and we were gutted couldn't make it and then saw the um email this morning pop up that they've announced their new male ambassador obviously at the time we're getting that email we didn't know who it was and yeah saw the male ambassador it's Tom so if he is in Manchester with the announcement, if he's actually there, then that's essentially what I've just turned out. A catch up with Tom Hardy. <laughs> Can you believe it? Anyway, I'm just going to be telling myself that he's not actually in town to release that announcement, but who knows? Who knows? So on this wet and drizzly day, let's uh, head over to the dentist. I'm hungry and I want my breakfast, but I've just cleaned my teeth. Going to the dentist, don't know about you, but I can't eat and then go to the dentist. I have to have freshly clean teeth and it is actually just an appointment. My final Invisalign appointment, if you followed along my journey, I had Invisalign treatment with Dr. Bikram, who if you didn't see, I've got a highlight on my Instagram where I've showed the before and afters, the progress and everything like that, and also an offer which you can use with him to get some amazing discounts, amazing savings if you're thinking about Invisalign. What you need to do is call up to book in for Invisalign and just quote Freya or just let them know that I sent you and they will, yeah, look after you. But yeah, if you want to see all the details and everything, then be sure to check out that Instagram highlight. But after you finish your treatment with Invisalign, which I did about, well, six months ago, where you have all of the attachments removed and um, you get your sleep retainers, you get three sets. You still have to wear the Invisalign so you don't just go from day to like night, if that makes sense. You don't just go straight from having worn them all day every day and only taking them out for eating straight to only wearing them at night for sleeping. You kind of have to have this transitional six month period where um, you're meant to keep wearing them and then at six months appointment, which is today, 
he will have a look and say, yeah, you're all good to just wear them at night now. Um, but to be honest with you, I've kind of been doing that anyway, I'd say over the last few weeks. Yeah, Dr. Bikram's really lovely and any nervous, fellow nervous dentist visitors, he puts you at ease and he's really, really lovely. So yeah, we've got that this morning. Then we're gonna have a little hair transformation. All that's left to do really at this point, if you haven't already, is make yourself a nice yummy drink and get some snacks and put your feet up. And I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. And just like that, we are all done. And then we managed to put a toner on it, had a bit of a trim, and did a bit more of the kind of face framing um, around here just to have a bit more layers and that chopped in, nice choppy cut. Probably trim, um, didn't have too much taken off the length, but anyway, I, yeah, love it. Full head pilots today as well, and also, how nice are these? Tom bought these yesterday home from, where did he go? Aldi, and they are really good, really nice and full. These are lilies, which obviously are not open yet. I'm thinking, this one looks like it's ready to open soon, so I'm thinking they're gonna be either white or pink. Um, and then we've got this little candle burning, at Dalesford Farm, bergamot, smells delightful. But yeah, I thought I would take you upstairs now. I was gonna go to that antique place today, but it's actually, I didn't realize it shuts at 3.30, so it's too late now. It's only gonna be open for another 15 minutes. It takes me 15 minutes to get there, so that ain't happening. But, oh, another little mention. Whilst we had coffee, I made us a coffee and got some biscuits out. They are delicious. The M&S Outrageously Chocolatey Milk Chocolate Biscuits. Delightful, weren't they? Although you didn't have any because you can't have chocolate. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Antiques World. I might head over to tomorrow. I think I will and hopefully the rain will hold off because it was meant to be chucking it down today and it's actually not been too bad. So fingers crossed it's not just moved to tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to, having unboxed all of these bits from H&M and other bits that I wanted to share with you as good little sort of staples for spring summer, I wanted to just quickly sit down and show you them. I'm gonna show you first because the fit of this and like it's perfection. White, a basic white boxy tee. Yeah, it's an absolute essential I feel like in anyone's wardrobe, but this one from Cos, it was a bit of an investment purchase and I'm so glad I got it. I did, I ordered a small and a medium for comparison. There's not much in it and I like it that much. I'm gonna keep both. I will leave all of these linked below. This is actually just on my pile of washing that needs to be popped away. But I'll also leave these links. I've mentioned them a couple of times lately and they're the Uniqlo built-in bra tops. So there's a few different styles. My favorite one is this one, which is the racerback ribbed. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So it's almost like, you know when you get removable padding, it's like that, but stitched in and a slight support band. Another absolute staple that I have mentioned before, but it's just hung out ready to pop away is this from Zara, this blazer. It was one of those that on the hanger, I was like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, and only 49.99, which is quite good for Zara. It's kind of like a, it's got a hint of greeny undertone to it but otherwise it's just a kind of mushroom taupe I would say yeah I have loved wearing that another thing that I've shown you recently is this waistcoat from River Island what I've not shown you is it as a um, set so I've actually got the matching trousers to go with it I think they do this in cream as well but this one is more of the kind of sage green I went to a River Island event not too long ago if you missed the vlog and yeah I wore this waistcoat but with jeans so again mix and match staple good classic pieces this set I have loved and then a couple of new in H&M bits have a pop of colour right blue really pretty shade for spring and summer I love blue I really do this one is a bit brighter than I thought it was going to be but as a set it comes with the Matching shorts, which have pockets in. It's like a nice linen fabric. As a set, fur, but obviously um, paired separately. I quite like the shorts as the set. 
but then the shirt I would definitely wear without the shorts as well I would wear it with jeans even white trousers as a little throw on like a beach throw on some denim shorts I did pick up those shorts in the beige as well though because I just think that they're that wearable pocketed as well and the shorts I got in a medium but the shirt I got in a small I did pick up this shirt and short set though as a comparison and this is definitely not to go with that is it no they are slightly different linens but the shirt is in a medium these ones I would say are slightly thinner but I really like the fit of these they are very high-waisted they've got the drawstring pull they're just a nice floaty loose short to just throw on over a swimsuit a bikini um, so yeah, I did get these ones in a 12. And then I did get them in black as well. These are a slightly smarter linen shorts, um, but they are in a small, I believe. I oh, don't, no, okay. They're in a 12 and these are too small for me, I would say. So they, they fit around the waist, but they just feel a little short for me. So I will send these ones back, but I thought for the purpose of this, section of the video i'll just show you these as well so i did also pick up two pairs of shoes i wanted to get some more flats and i wanted to try the ballet trend ballet shoe trend so i got these ones because i thought with the strap over they would be quite comfy i'm just not sure i'm a ballet girl person when i put these on maybe if they were in a nude so they were a little less harsh but these on me i felt like they're a bit too boxy looking a bit too harsh looking so i probably will return them i did get these ones though and these ones are pointy black like a suede fabric this one and i love these but i would say i'm definitely a half size so i got in a six and they are just that little bit too snug popped in an order with selfridges as well to get two things firstly this pair of birkenstock i would class these as a good staple pair getting a lot of wear out of these i have this color in the two strap ones and i have worn these to death really really happy with those i did get a 39 i don't think you need to size up with birkenstocks i feel like they come pretty big and the buckle always allows you to just make them a bit tighter if you need them to be and then with a few occasions on the horizon i saw this online and i've seen a few girls wear it on instagram and i just think it looks stunning it's a bit of a wow piece a bit of an investment piece but because of the neutral tones to it it's definitely a dress that i would say that i would get a few you you know like wears out from it's not just going to be one of those one-time wear dresses i would wear on holiday i would wear in england i'd wear for occasions it flows really beautifully so yeah i thought i would show you that if you are after an investment piece that's everything i am going to venture out now i want to pop to oh i forgot i got this actually look at what neon sent me ah okay let me just pop you down a second i'm not sure dates wise when this video is going up if it's going to be relevant anymore let's have a look mental health week Mental Health Awareness Week, 13th of May to the 19th of May. They're donating £10 to the Mental Health Foundation from every sale of their Happiness Three Wick Scented Candle. All of the neon scents are amazing, but this scent in particular, I really, really love. And they do say with neon, you crave the scents, or the scents that stand out to you most are the ones that your body craves the most. So say if you're feeling really stressed, you might really like the scent to distress, um, or yeah, anyway love all of their scents but this one i think for summer in particular smells lovely i can imagine this on the kitchen island today after i've burnt out that bergamot one from dalesford this one will be next on that tray it's the neom happiness which has notes of neroli mimosa and lemon perfect for in the kitchen i feel like i'm looking very blonde in this viewfinder and a little pale because i haven't tanned in a while i've got a uh color colorist i don't know if the technical term but a lady who does your colors coming this week um which will probably be my next vlog i'll share it with you my appointment that i've got with her she's coming to the house i've got a couple of friends coming over as well so that we can all have our colors done and it will be interesting to see what she says but yeah she said no fake tan so this whole week i've just not been fake tanning I think because I've just had my hair freshly done, I feel like I'm very 
there's lots of pale tones going on, especially wearing a beige shirt as well. I'm probably not helping myself. I might pop on a different top actually. Um, and I might head over, head over to Starbucks. I'm feeling like a coffee. I want to walk the dog. So we might combine the two and take Barney for a little walk over to Starbucks to grab him a puppuccino. Me, decaf cortado. just on the phone downstairs and where it's cool but I have woken up this morning and just popped a couple of rollers just in the top part with me having had a bit of a shorter bit cut in at the front I thought I would just give a little volume today whilst I was doing my makeup didn't spend too long doing it just really really quickly so I thought I would take them out with you and we'll see what they look like just velcro rollers for me, my hair tends to hold better day two. Um, styling it. Ooh. This is very fancy for going to an antiques market. <laughs> but I just, yeah, I was kind of like excited to give it a whirl with my new hair. Um, but anyway, woken up this morning, dropped Barney off at daycare and thought we would venture out to Antique World, like I said yesterday, but it is very overcast and a little bit miserable, so I'm hoping it's inside. I think it is. From what I've seen online, it looks like it's predominantly inside, which is, ooh, like that, which is ideal for, um, for today, with the weather being rubbish. Also, my hairdresser used the Colour Wow Dream Coat, just for that added bit of volume, which I really like. So I definitely want to pick my hands up. Pick my hands up. <laughs> pick my hands up. I want to, to get my hands on it and pick it up. Um, so I'm just going to spritz a bit of hairspray on this and that will be my hair for today. I, yeah, I want to get my hands on it and I use the Colour Wow X l volumizer i haven't used it this time i've literally just this is the hairdresser having spritzed a bit of dream coat on yesterday but i want to put my hands up on i want to put my hands up i want to get my hands on one and i was thinking maybe is is it open yet i think it is i think there's a new sephora opened at the trafford center so maybe for my next video we can venture over and actually check out the news of Flora. <laughs> well, am I just extra tired today or what? <laughs> Zephora. <laughs> what? Zephora. My body's in daycare today. He's actually booked in for a groom as well. So he's going to come back smelling nice and fresh. He's having his teeth cleaned and his nails clipped. And a good play with his friends whilst we head to the shop. So let's go check out Antique World, shall we? I'm just going to pop on a little bit. Just on the ends, just a little dash of Moroccan oil, just to nourish the ends. I always do this whenever I style my hair, or like in between washing, I always just pop on some oil. I think that's a key to especially having highlighted hair, having blonde hair, to help keep your hair in good condition. It's just oils. I've used them for years and years and years and swear by them. So I do just tend to put them in the ends though so that it doesn't get greasy too quickly. Spritz of dry shampoo to help with that volume. I've been using the plant-based one. It's not too dissimilar to the original because they do like the volume more, which is good for if you're styling your hair for a night out maybe, but it does leave a bit of a sticky feeling to it so I tend to prefer just the original. There we have it kind of bouncy blowout without the need for because I cannot do it with a roller brush myself without the need for a hairdryer and roller brush. It's just a couple of curls with some velcro rollers and this is my look. Itchy eye. 
So I've just pulled up. I think I'm outside. Well, it says Antique World there, but then there's also, it says Empire House Antiques behind me. 30 individual shops inside. Okay, yeah. So you can definitely go in there as well. So we'll have a quick look around. I'm going to start with this Antique World though. Um, and then it's next to a furniture shop as well. So yeah, we'll just have a little moot. And I am getting pretty packaged. So after this, if I can't come across or see a cafe or anything like that, I might head over to... Um, housing units which is literally just down this road if you remember I've been to like um, Christmas events with them and stuff and it's just like a little how would you describe housing units kind of like a furniture shop it's not a garden center but it has typical garden center things like the Christmas display when that's on like Yankee candles stuff like that there is a little cafe there as well I quickly got changed as well because even though it's um a bit miserable today, a bit overcast. It's still quite warm, so I've just got on a t-shirt, which is from Weekday. My jeans, which are from White Fox, a little crossbody bag for ease and convenience from Uniqlo. And my Birkenstock Arizonas, which I have been living in. I quite like the look of these barrels for planters for in the garden. Obviously, we need to get quite a few to fill loads of different spaces. And yeah, the rustic kind of barrels these ones i love them and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up i love the look of this chest it's got some stuff on the top of it so i can't see inside but i really like the kind of finish of that the color the handles on it Nice little trunk that you could style up as a sideboard type coffee table thing. Well, it's going to be a place that you need to rummage. Bit of a jumble sale. And there could be some really good things in here. But like in the depths of that. Look at this, it's like a full on Christmas scene. If you remember, we picked up brick moulds like these. These are actually quite polished and finished quite nicely. And they actually have the mould on the inside as well. Um, but yeah, I think they look really nice with herbs planted in them, sort of displayed on the kitchen, um, shelf. So yeah, they've got a few of those. There's also not, um, well, hardly any prices on anything. So I feel like it's going to be a case of you have to ask for everything that you see that you want to um, get a price for. This is maybe worth sort of like having a, this is what I'm doing anyway, having a good look around first and then if there's anything that I like at the end, sort of saying how much is this, this and this please, because there's a lot, a lot of stuff, it's huge in here. And we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. This is the sort of place that I found my kind of like vintage pegs like this that I've styled up in the glass jar in my utility room. I also quite like the look of this stool. And then also on my kitchen shelves, I have butter puddles like these styled up. And I love this globe. It's kind of got like a majority cream base with the antique brass. I think that is so, so nice. I also love this little kind of like rustic looking table. And again, for styling purposes, loads of like old books in here. Gorgeous antique kind of bureau desk. If you had like a nice big office space or library. I quite like the look of these um, like sets of tables. I like the finish of them. They've also got like bureaus and I've just bought one recently from a charity shop, but they've got quite a selection actually. There's another couple of smaller ones over here. And it is kind of giving creepy vibes in here a little bit. <laughs> There's also that much. It's a little bit overwhelming when you're not coming in with the idea of getting something in particular. So I'm just coming for a browse and I'm like, <laughs> this is so much stuff. Again, another couple of gorgeous, huge like bureau desks. Okay, now time to go and have a look at the Empire House Antiques. They've got loads of these big safes. They've actually got some bigger ones outside as well. But I kind of like these as like a display thing. If you had them out, I think they're so beautiful. Oh 
my goodness, they have so many. Wow, look at that cream one. <gasps> Love that. They even have cars in here, okay? Look at the size of this cowbell. Wow, huge. Oh my God, it's an absolute minefield in here. I'm surprised I've never been here before. I keep thinking that as I'm going around. It's literally essentially around the corner from me. Well, it's not around the corner, but it's a short drive. It's like each corner you turn, there's just yet another huge row of furniture. Lots of this kind of stuff and mahogany, um, walnut. Um, yeah, obviously you guys know me. I like the real rustic antiques as opposed to like polished antiques. I have also noticed lots of um, different trunks and suitcases. Again, you could get like a really nice old square trunk, a bit more like this one that you could use or even stack a few and have them kind of as a bit of a um, styling piece or kind of sideboard section within the room, you know, like in an alcove. You could pop a couple of those stacked with a nice coffee table book on, a nice big vase. I really like that one actually, just a plain and simple black one. Lots of wicker baskets as well, wicker furniture. This is a throwback for me. These benches we used to sit on at school and have our dinner. Anyone else? I remember them. Wow. Wow, there's an upstairs as well. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. Watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. <sighs> I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Wow, you could spend hours here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. There was actually, like I said earlier, it's almost because I didn't have anything specific in mind. It was almost too much. <laughs> so I might come back with Tom and um, have a good rummage together for stuff for the house or the garden. And yeah, get his opinion as well. So it's nice sometimes just to have that second person. I'm going to pop over to housing units. I feel like I'm in the area and it's nice to have a browse in there. So I think we'll head over there and see what they've got. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember. Go back in the car. I didn't actually pop into the restaurant. There was, um, it, it felt a bit formal. I'm used to, like I said, whenever I've been here before, it's been for events and things when they've had like canapes out and it's been, well, I've not really known what the restaurant's like, but it's more like, I think they do like afternoon tea here and like sat down, whereas I just want a bit of a cafe or a drive through Speaking of which, when I say drive through, I've seen that there's a Tim Hortons just up the road. So I think I am going to treat myself to a little Tim Hortons today. Um, but yeah, thank you for the lovely lady who come and said hello to me, who watches my videos. Ron is in daycare today and they send through loads of photos. And look at this one that they sent. I forwarded it to Tom because it's so funny. We've got a cowboy on our hands. <laughs> Can you see him? He's got a little mini cowboy hat on. He's so cute. Oh, these two. Look, can you tell which one Barney is? I mean, for me it's easy, but let me know. Left or right? It is... Left! The one on the left is Barney. Anyway, lunch time. Hi, welcome to the tins. What can I get for you today? Hi, can I please get a decaf French vanilla? Decaf and trinilla latte, small, medium, all that. Uh, I'll have a medium, please. A grilled cheese. Do you want to make a meal with your drink? Uh, yeah, okay then, thank you. Yeah, anything else for you? Can I also get one of the apple fritters, please? Yeah, do you want to choose another one? Because if I want to get one for you to get the donuts. Okay, perfect. I'll also get a... I'll let you surprise me. Right, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. See you at the window, thank you. Thanks. Oh, no first surprise. Makes it more exciting anyway. Blimmin' love Tim Hortons. Very underrated. Good donuts. Great coffee. They're French vanilla. 
so good so good <laughs> so good what's she gonna get for me decisions decisions i'm hoping the sprinkles one preferably not the chocolate cream but then again i did say surprise me so or well, the Canadian maple one might be quite nice as well. Lovely, thanks. Amazing, thank you so much. Lovely. Thanks a lot. Thanks, you too, bye. Right, let's park up, shall we? Eat this. Let's see which donut she gave me. Alright, so that's my apple fritter, which is my favourite. Delish. And then. Oh no, what did I say? The chocolate cream is the one that I didn't want. I've got a chocolate cream. Although is that chocolate cream or is that just like a plain chocolate? I'm not sure, but anyway, I'll give it to Tom. And actually he probably would pick a chocolate one. For my lunch, real cheese. It is so cheesy. These are so good. If you like the classic American cheese, simple but delish back home we need a little bit of a tidy up in here i've got some pots in the sink some of tom's bits that need taking upstairs and sofa and everything that needs fluffing dishwashers need emptying cardboard needs taking out the recycling so yeah i'm gonna have a bit of a power hour of just getting stuff done She just got back home because I popped out just to run some errands, take some returns back to the post office, that kind of thing. And I wanted to just quickly wash a couple of the makeup brushes. And I was going to show you, I felt like that came out really weird then. Wash a couple of the makeup brushes. I thought I'd show you what it is that I absolutely use, swear by it, love, have done for ages. It's a game changer when it comes to washing your makeup brushes, which I feel like is a task that nobody enjoys doing. So this is my kind of like makeup drawer where I just have all my daily essentials in my flat lay company bag. This is like the best makeup bag ever. These flat ones that they do, you essentially just open the drawstring and it just opens out into a flat so you can see everything, a flat round circle. So yeah, I love this. But there are a few makeup brushes that I want to clean and also um, <clears throat> maybe get rid of because some of them I've had like a long while and all of this like metallic stuff keeps chipping off and going everywhere in the bag so it's kind of annoying and I have this set which I'm yet to delve into and it's from they're from Sculpt um and yeah I've got such a big selection that any kind of ones that I feel like are a bit old I'm going to replace with these ones or any like this one for instance I really like this one for this spectrum one for my foundation I quite like a fluffy brush for foundation I feel like it blends out really nicely whereas this is the biggest fluffy brush that this set has and I would say this is more of like a powder brush so some I am going to keep and clean but otherwise we're gonna get these ones out I've got lots of like eye ones for eyeshadows so any like old eyeshadow brushes I feel like I'm gonna get rid of um but yeah and get on with some cleaning and then for cleaning I'm going to be using my style pro best cleaner ever honestly i will leave this linked you must try it if you haven't already it dries them as well as cleaning them at the same time so yeah 
well worth investing into this. Right, so here we have the five main makeup brushes that I needed to clean. I get to a point, I can be the laziest makeup brush washer. I start noticing breakouts and then I'm like, yeah, I need to wash my brushes now. Um, but honestly, this just makes it so much easier. So you've got your little Style Pro cleaner there, the container there, and then you can get this uh, makeup brush cleanser. I don't know if you can maybe just use like soapy water, I'm not sure, although it can break you out soapy water. So anyway, I just use this. You don't add water to it, you literally just pour a bit of that into the container. Get this little contraption and add an attachment to fit the makeup brush from this selection here. So you find, if we do this brush first, then you just find one that it fits most snug, which I would probably say is that one. Take out the one that you need, attach it to the end of the brush, and then that bit goes onto the device, which makes it essentially, when you turn it on, it spins. So you literally pop the solution in here, dab, 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 spin as you pull out, so that makes it clean the brush, as well as dry it too. You pop a little bit in here, Dab it in the solution. Turn it on. Just wait for a few seconds. And then turn it off. And that is the dirty water, although you can use this cleanser a few times. And that is a perfectly clean and dry, completely bone dry makeup brush. Attached to the electric part of the device. Dab it in your solution. Nice, clean, and dry. This will probably be a good before and after this one because you can see how filthy this brush is. It's basically, um, yeah, this is my foundation brush, so it gets grubby. Probably the grubbiest of all of them. You can already see it's so much whiter the brush. In just a matter of seconds, not even a hint of foundation. So much cleaner and better. Ooh. I just broke an air whilst doing that. Well, I was popping the uh, the makeup brush cleaner away, and I've literally just snapped this nail. So I'm just gonna do a quick fix. Well, I say quick fix. I might actually just redo all of my nails. And I thought I would and do it with um, my laptop because I need to catch up. I've been watching, well, I've only watched one episode, but so far loving it. And it's called The Fortune Hotel. Let me know if you've seen it. They've gone on as couples. So whether it be partners, sisters, mother and son, and their aim is to leave with a quarter of a million pounds. They've all been given, on their first episode, they've all been given a a suitcase with either the money in, the 250,000 pounds, or, which color should we go with today? I'm gonna do this one again. This is just the OPI gel color in coconuts over OPI, and I use the OPI base and top coat as well. Or they've got nothing. Or the third and final option is a, uh, like an envelope, which is, I can't remember what they call it. They, they call themselves the unfortunates, that couple, if they've got that suitcase, but it's basically a pass that they have to go home. So they're all trying to suss each other out as to whether or not they've got the money, whether or not they've got the sending the home, which you wouldn't want. And then throughout the process, there's games and things whereby they have the opportunity to switch cases. So anyway, yeah, it's well worth a watch if you like the kind of reality game show. If you like the traitors, that kind of a game show, then I think you'll like the Fortune Hotel. It's on ITV. And I've also got Made in Chelsea to catch up on and Housewives of Cheshire. So that's what I'm gonna do for the next, however long until my nails are finished. And then I can go get Barney from daycare and he'll be nice and freshly groomed this evening and then Tom's actually out on a works do tonight so I have free reign of the remote control any good tv recommendations lately I watched the idea of you with Anne Hathaway and what's he called Nicholas Scalantine as he called oh it was really good it was just like a wholesome feel good well there were sad parts in it but yeah, a lot of Harry Styles fans are saying that it's based on him. Anyway, I've shown you how I do my nails before, so I won't 
for you again and also i'm going for the same color i've had on already let me just show you <laughs> show you on the non-broken nails the color that i've gone for it's like a really nice mushroomy taupey color so that's my plan for the rest of this evening so i think i'm going to close off the vlog here actually i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thumbs up if you have subscribe for more I'm sending you all my love today and always thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.